Hey guys, it's Eric. Welcome to my channel, Eric Eats. Today, I'm gonna be making spaghetti carbonara. Alright, so I found this recipe online, and on the website, on the recipe page, it says, and I quote, the easiest pasta dish you will ever make with just five ingredients in 15 minutes, loaded with parmesan and bacon, unquote. A very bold statement. I'm assuming it's gonna be pretty easy. We're gonna find out if this is true. So I'm gonna be cooking this. I'm just gonna go over it, see if it's tasty, of course. Um, the price, is it cheap? And um, if it's the easiest dish I'll ever make, or at least it's pasta dish I'll ever make. All right, guys, so here are our ingredients for this recipe. Technically, it's nine ingredients, but if you're not counting the cheese, salt, pepper, and uh, the spaghetti, I guess, then it is five main ingredients that we're gonna use to add to our pasta and yeah, I mean, I guess it's five ingredients, but it's technically nine ingredients, but either way, it's not too much. It's gonna be an easy recipe. And of course, the first ingredient we have is our spaghetti. How can we have spaghetti carbonara without the spaghetti itself? So this is a 16 ounce packet, and we're only gonna use eight ounces. Then we have our eggs, of course. The recipe says to use large eggs, but I'm just gonna use eggs. I'm sure they're large enough. And then, of course, we're gonna need a half cup of freshly grated Parmesan. And then, of course, we have our protein. I have four slices of bacon. We're gonna dice it up. Um, I'll do that later. And next ingredient we have is our four cloves of garlic. We're gonna mince that up. And last of all, we have our two tablespoons of freshly chopped parsley leaves. All right, guys, so the total cost of this recipe for four servings is only $8 and 84 cents, believe it or not. And that comes down to $2.21 for one person. So that's extremely cheap. So this is a good recipe if you're on a budget or just wanna save some money. All right guys, the first step in this recipe, we're gonna boil our pasta in our large pot. All right guys, just got the water. It says four to six quarts, but to be honest, I didn't really measure it. I just kind of filled it like three fourths to like halfway. And hopefully that's enough. We're gonna add our pasta now. Um, all right, let's see if it fits. I'm trying to make this fit. Never cooked pasta before. We'll break it in half. That doesn't make for a good pasta though. You kind of want it nice and long. That's what she said. Um, all right, so I guess we just cook it till it softens. And then when it softens, we can just like push the rest in. All right guys, as we wait for our pasta to cook, we're gonna whisk our eggs together with the Parmesan. So I recommend a small bowl, but you can never go wrong with being too big. Um, gonna whisk the eggs right here, two eggs, and our Parmesan. Um, it says to use a half cup. I'm not gonna measure it, but this is eight ounces, and four ounces is half of a cup. So hopefully I can measure it right. There you go. And then, of course, add our eggs in. One hand. That's all how the pros do it. This is not working out. Oh, this egg's falling. Got him. I'm just gonna go with two hands. Let's try again. One hand. Second egg. Let's do this. Oh, I did it. One hand. Nice. All right, so I don't have a whisk. I'm just gonna use this fork. Just whisk it together. Make sure you get nice and mixed up. Don't want chunks of Parmesan. A little chunky. All together, it does, it does help that you have a whisk. Very nice. Can't really tell which piece is which, and I think that's gonna be good. Just checking over our pasta. I wanna taste test this. Make sure it's nice, and as always, gonna add some salt if needed. A lot of salt. All right guys, now that the pasta is cooked, we're gonna drain it and uh, just drain all the water out. Just keep about a half cup of water of the pasta water, we're just gonna need that later. Drain it nice and easy. There you go. Let it sit. Now I'm gonna cook our bacon. We have our large pan skillet thing, um, whatever you wanna call it. You guys can use whatever you want to heat this up to a medium high. I diced up our bacon, so here it goes. Delicious. And we're just gonna cook this for six to eight minutes. Um, all right guys, so I actually left the bacon on a little too long. I went over to cut up the garlic, um, or mince them at least, and I actually burnt them. Oh no. So 
Um, six minutes was actually too long for me, so guys, don't make a mistake. Check on your bacon. Don't leave it burn. All right, I added some more bacon. Let's try this again. All right, guys, now that our bacon is nice and golden and crispy, we're gonna add our crushed up garlic. We're just gonna add that and cook it for one minute. So let's put it in there, stir it, and cook it until fragrant, whatever that means, probably it. Uh, until the smell comes to you, until it smells good or something. Alright guys, it's been about a minute. So now we're gonna add our egg and parmesan mixture as well as our pasta. So we're gonna toss them in gently. Alright, put a little pasta in. Pour it all in. There you go, beautiful. And of course our egg and parmesan mixture. Then dump that in and make sure to stir it when you add it in. Delicious. It's a little chunky, so that's why we have our pasta water. I'm um, just gonna add it a little bit at a time until we get the consistency we want. Just pour it in, mix it up. A lot of pepper, I'm a big pepper guy. Of course, add some salt as well. All right guys, so we're done. We're done with this dish. And now I'm gonna scoop it out, plate it, and taste test it and see if it's good. Very nice. And let's, we're gonna see how this tastes. All right, guys, got our pasta here. Delicious. Now we're gonna taste test this and see if it's good. All right. Oh, it's a lot of flavor. It's good. Oh, this is delicious. Pasta was cooked well, seasoned well with salt and pepper. This was a good meal. Um, so now I'm just gonna rate it now. Spaghetti carbonara. Well, the taste, I just ate it, tasted delicious. Pasta was cooked well. So the taste, the bacon was so good. A lot of flavor, you can't go wrong with bacon. Didn't put too much, so it's not too salty. Um, pasta, I put a little bit of salt and pepper here and there, but it was overall really good. Blended well, the egg mixture with the Parmesan cheese. I like that a lot. That was good. Taste, I'm gonna give that a nine. And the easiness to cook, um, well, the recipe said for the bacon was six to eight minutes, but it only took me like four minutes because I cooked it six minutes the first time and it burned. Uh, that was my bad. I should have checked. And I actually forgot to top it off. Just now I forgot. I cut up parsley. There you go. Beautiful. Now that looks good. All right, now I'm gonna retry it. Just try to scoop with some parsley. Mm. It's even better with parsley. Good. I still give it a nine out of 10. Parsley was good though. Um, easiness, I give it like a, I give it a nine. And last of all, as I went over earlier, the price was extremely cheaper. Price, I give it a 10. So overall, this recipe, I give it a nine and one third. So 9.33 is our overall rating for this recipe. It was a good recipe. I would definitely cook this again. And as always, I hope my family enjoys it. And now I'm gonna enjoy some more. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys next time. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. And for this recipe, the... Uh, Alright, so for the...